This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Dodge Ram 2500 Mega Cab. It's an extended crew cab, a longer crew cab. It's the Mega Cab. It's a 5.9 liter turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. Um, it's an SLT, which is cloth. It's got an 8 inch lift. I'm sorry, a 6 inch lift. And uh, some nice BFG tires. It's on a clear title. It was, has just over 100,000 miles. Um, when we bought it, uh, we discovered that it had been shot three or four times. <laughs> Therefore, we replaced a whole bunch of parts underneath the hood. It got the intercooler, it got the radiator, it got the condenser, um, it got tranny lines. Um, we also replaced, obviously, the stabilizer struts on the bottom. Just a whole bunch of stuff. It also got shot in the driver's side door, so we had those fixed at a really good paint shop. Um, and when we bought it, you couldn't even see any of this stuff in the in the pictures. Um, it was purchased directly from an insurance company in uh, El Paso, and when we got it, <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. They sold it on a clear title, which is unusual. Um, it runs great, I mean, but uh, you got a bunch of brand new, brand, brand new parts under the hood, which should make people happy. It doesn't make me happy, but it should make you happy. Um, Here's your all the lip stuff. You guys who do this stuff probably know exactly what you're looking at. We didn't add that, so I can't really add too much detail. I don't want to say things I don't know about. These need to be buffed down. That usually goes away. There's a couple dings on top of the hood here. This thing is just a bug killer um, that can obviously come off. You just need to, you know, if you want that to go away, just take the bug killer off. couple little rock chips here on the hood a little bit of touch-up paint might not be that hood actually might dead bust I never really considered doing that it's got BFG all terrains around it that uh, probably have uh, 50 60 percent tread First, to make sure power locks work. There's something on the floor right there. Oh, got it. It's got a little bit of a little bit of stainage in there. Of course, you could put some mats in there. Here, looks like we filled a hole here. That might have been from where the bullet came through the door. This one came from El Paso, so this is probably involved in some El Paso cartel wars and crap like that. Those people are insane. Oh, <laughs> now I've locked it. Good. Uh, let's see. See in back here. I'm looking for anything else in the body. A couple of little dings with chips in them. Here and here and there. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Passenger side looks pretty good. Show you the exhaust. It has a catalytic converter. As you can see, with the exhaust ends here, probably the previous owner probably wanted it to breathe. You know, if you want exhaust to go out the back with a muffler, um, you can add uh, about $250 and we'll have one put on. But it actually breathes quite a bit better and runs a little bit more power without one. It looks perfect. It showed up without a uh, tailgate, so we bought this uh, Luber tailgate. Here's your lift. Obviously, it's a six inch lift. The driver's side belt is perfect. We all know these 5.9s have been forever. And this is uh, the last one they ever made, uh, early part of 07. They stopped about, uh, what, three or four months into 07 and went to the new motor, which, of course, is not as favored as the old motor. They never are. All right. 
actually, let me demonstrate the door locks because obviously you can't work the door locks when it's running. It won't let you when you're inside and the car's running. So all the door locks work. Now let me fire this bad boy up. Obviously, you have an aftermarket uh, air box. As you can see, all the uh, this is all original. I show you this so you know it hasn't been wrapped. Or anything. You can see all the paint on the screws and all that crap. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Everything in a row here is brand new. Brand new. <laughs> brand new batteries. Just. It was painful, but uh, the only that's not brand new under there is the tranny and the motor itself. Pretty much everything else got a bullet hole, so it's all brand new. inches or so makes a huge difference in here. Okay, let me run through the windows real quick, make sure they all work. There's a driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. There's that. We have a power seat, back, forward, let's see, down, up, let's see, what's this do? I'm not sure what that does. Oh, I see. It was already down. I'm not really sure what that button does. Maybe it's a lumbar or something. Tilt works. Driver seat looks excellent. There's a little bit of a stain right here in the front of it. All right, I'm gonna crawl up in here. It could use a step, by the way. That's the biggest six inch lift I've ever seen. I had to look at it twice to think, to convince myself it wasn't an eight inch lift. All right, seat belt's on. All right, let's see. Obviously they jacked the radio. We never replace those because every time we do, the person who buys it doesn't like the stereo we picked out and has their own at home and blah, blah, blah. Or they go to Best Buy and buy a brand new one installed for a buck and a quarter. So it doesn't really make much sense. Windshield's brand new. I do remember that. That one had a bullet hole in it too. Let's see. All right, cluster. That works. The air is blowing ice cold in here, which is just great because today on March 15th or so, March 15th, it is uh, 95 degrees in Tucson. Turn that down so you can hear me. I'm not sure what that's for. I'm not sure. I didn't see any fog lights out there, so I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's go here. There's cruise on and off. We already did the tilt. Let's see if we got the overdrive. There you go. Tow, overdrive off, boom. There's your miles, 101, 342. There's your cluster from afar. Let me put it into uh, neutral, throw it into low. There we go. Now we're in low. There's low. Put it into drive. Oh yeah, that's definitely for low. Put it into reverse. Perfect. We put it into four high. Now we're in four high. Put it into drive. Yeah, you can actually drive at speed in that. Reverse. Perfect. Okay, let's put it back in two wheel drive and take it down the street. All right, this is on a clear title, so we don't need to get it inspected. Um, 
it's been gone over by everybody in the world mechanically. This thing is perfect mechanically. <laughs> as much money as we spent on it, it better be. Uh, the good news is the engine and the transmission were always perfect. Um, it just uh, was bullet hole repair um, that caused us all the problems. But while we were doing the repairs, we had a chance to check out the motor and the tranny really closely and, and uh, loved that part of the car. So anyway, it's fine. Blah, 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 blah. If you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay a total of 5% tax, and you're going to pay $250 dock fee. Nice truck. You want the lift and the big tires. It's pretty tight. Generally, when you lift them like that, and you have the BFG tires on it, you'll get a lot of vibration or drifting or nothing. That's pretty tight. It's actually very tight with that kind of lift. I was, I'm impressed. Um, so anyway, if you come here, you're going to pay tax. You're going to pay dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, um, you're going to pay just the agreed upon price. Um, once we receive full payment, I mail you out the title. It will be notarized and ready to go. All the documents will be scanned into your own vehicle file. You'll see everything that we have already, plus whatever we generate for sales documents and et cetera. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hey, when you uh, call for a quote, uh, if you call our guy, our suggested shipper is Fred. His number is in the middle of the ad. It's a 401 uh, number. His name is Fred from Beacon Shipping Logistics. But make sure you remind Fred, if you call Fred, or whoever the shipper is that you want to get a quote from, whether you buy, get a quote before or after you buy it, to tell him that it's lifted and it's a big truck. <laughs> because when they, we had one show up the other day and to pick up an F-250 that was uh, on an 8-inch lift, uh, long bed, F-350 crew cab, and the shipper almost had a heart attack. You're like, um, <laughs> that truck was bigger than the truck he was towing it with. So it didn't go over so good. So make sure that you let them know so that there's no surprises. I'm going to just go from zero here. There's the turbo. Tires break loose a little bit there. Nice. Nice truck. It's actually pretty fun to drive. Not a big fan of uh, huge lifts on trucks, but uh, this is all right. Anyway, please make sure you get a deposit in. Without a deposit, we don't have a deal. Um, and that is all. Thank you very much. Have a great week.